Yeah, I know. She still major league ticked at me too. Her last official act as my lawyer was getting this paperwork in order for me today. Is she talking to you at all? Hmm. I'm sorry about all this, Patty. Yeah, maybe someday. Right. Oh, about today? Well, I hope I can pull it off. No, no chance he twisted his lawyer's arm a little bit, so begrudgingly, Mr. Lowell is, uh, is backing us up. Look, Marty the Mouth will be here any minute, so I gotta go, but look, Patty, uh, about Jack, don't worry. She'll come around. She may never be my daughter, but uh, she'll always be yours. Yeah, I know. Okay. Check with you later. Bye-bye. Am I coming in okay, Chansey? Loud and clear, Dad. I can hear you. I'm muting the mic now so I can put on headphones. I wouldn't want Iggy and Morph to hear this, especially if everything goes south. Oh, don't worry about the boys. Morph got Iggy to give him another massage. I can't believe you were able to set up this feed, Mr. Computer Genius. Um, look, I'm sorry to put you through all this, kiddo, but I don't want there to be any doubt in your mind about your uncle anymore. Here he comes. Heard. Hey, up high, man. Well, I guess this isn't like a stadium, huh? Marty, I understand uh, Hiram Lowell contacted you about Chansey's secondary trust fund. Yeah, bummer, but hey, so it's a little less. No, Marty, I'm afraid it's a lot less. Huh? Uh, apparently, with this second trust fund, she had her broker speculate a lot more. Seems like he got her involved with some real stinko stocks. How stinko? Well, if you read down to the bottom column, uh, Marty, you'll see that after taxes and bank fees, what's left is... A thousand dollars?! Thirteen hundred and sixteen dollars, to be exact. This can't be right. I double-checked the figures myself, Marty. I'm an accountant. That's what I do. It's, uh, it's sad, but true. Gone? All gone? All but thirteen hundred and sixteen dollars. You said that already. Wait a minute. You can't con a con, man. This is all smoke and mirrors. Why don't you call Lowell yourself? I know you have his number on speed dial. Bet your fat ass I got his number on myself. Oh, Mr. Lowell, hey, how you doing? Yeah, Marty Donofsky here. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sitting with him right here, but uh, what he's saying is really, you know, um... Hello? Hello? What did he say? Thirteen hundred and sixteen dollars. Then he hung up. Not much to say after that, is there? Well, you know, Chancey's packed and ready and he seems pretty excited to go back to Cali with you. Yeah, about that, Herb. Uh, you know what I'm thinking about is, you know, you're his father, right? Right? Am I right? Uh, and, uh, you know, uh... Well, uh, you know, the kids kind of put roots down here in Houston, you know? And uh, I, I really hate to disrupt that, you know what I'm saying? And besides, you know, the, uh, the, the other kid where he's built the relationship with, you know, the kid who's a little, uh, you know, uh, hostile. <laughs> Towards you, yeah. I believe he called you, um... Dad, you gotta stop him. Chancey's uncle's a real turd muffin. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> anyhow, about that little Chancey, uh... Um... Marty. It's just you and me here. No lawyers, nothing official. Remember, I had him for months before you took him. Chancey's my son, but I know what he can be like. <laughs> okay, okay, you got me, Herb. But I mean, come on, that little nerdy know-it-all, like, mm, sometimes he could just be so hard to take, you know? I mean, come on, he was like always so, you know, in the way. And they always wanted to talk. Like, he could say anything that, like, I wanted to hear, you know? 
I hear you. Who wants to have a tete-a-tete -tete with a 13-year-old? And he was 12 back then. Yeah, the kid knew it too. I mean, I had to pull out all the stops just to make him think that I missed him. I missed his bank account. I mean, when that trust fund went dry, I cried. And you wasted no time on putting him on a plane for here. Well, I knew you wouldn't turn him away. And, hey, let's be honest here. I mean, he would not stop going on and on about you and that little claustrophobic place you guys had in L.A. The bungalow wasn't that... Never mind. So are we in agreement? He stays here? Because you never really wanted him, did you? <laughs> like a rash I wanted him. <laughs> well, Marty, as long as we're on the same page here. What's this? Oh, well, you know, since... I have custody in Texas, and you have custody in California. Signing these papers makes perfect sense. I, I mean, think about it. If anything were to happen to me, you wouldn't want the courts chasing you down now, would you? Yeah, I don't know, Herb. Uh, there's still that little matter of the $1,316. I mean, it should just about cover my hotels and my flights here and back. Yeah, I wouldn't want you to at least not break even. Sold. He is all yours, Herb. Every boring, needy little hacker cell in that scrawny little body of his. Hey, look, my flight leaves in a few hours, so I gotta go. But maybe I can get the money back for the kid's ticket, or failing that, I can get a credit for a later flight. Uh, Marty, just make sure one of those later flights isn't one back here. Because if I ever see you again, I'm gonna grab each of your testicles and make a wish. Got it? Good talk, Herb. Nice seeing you.